Hi everybody, I'm Tim Erden, author of Statistics in Plain English, and in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate a um, confidence interval for the population correlation coefficient, which is called rho. So suppose that we have a sample of 28 children, and I have measured their age and how many words they can read per minute. And there's a positive correlation there. So with older kids on average reading uh, more words per minute than younger kids. And the correlation is 0 0.40. So to ca calculate a confidence interval, this is the formula for the confidence interval. First, we need a few different pieces. We need this um, Z prime, which is a transformed confidence interval, and we'll look that up in a minute. And we need the standard error of the confidence interval, which we're going to calculate. And then we need a value from Appendix A. So um, Appendix A is the values associated with the normal distribution. Once we transform our, our, um, our correlation coefficient, um, it puts it on a normal distribution and we can use the values associated with the normal distribution, which is in Appendix A. I just happen to know that for a 95% confidence interval, um, the value from Appendix A will be 1.96. So I'm not going to look it up this time, but you can double check me if you'd like. Okay. So, um, first let's calculate this, um, standard error of the correlation coefficient and the formula is right here. It is one, whoops, right here. It's one divided by the square root of the sample size minus three. So I picked a sample size of 28 so that um, we get a nice easy to square root number when we subtract three from it. So 28 minus three is 25. And the square root of 25 is five. So Z R equals one divided by the square root of 25 equals one divided by five equals point to zero. So that is our standard error of the correlation coefficient. Now we're ready to plug that in to this formula. But first we need to transform our correlation coefficient um, into a standardized number, uh, this Z prime. And there's a couple of ways to do that. One, you can just look up this correlation coefficient in Appendix E of the book. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it with this little applet. There's lots of applets that are online and free to use um, where you just plug in your correlation coefficient and it tells you what the um, standardized value is. So let me show you that. Okay. So this is an online applet where you can just plug in your correlation coefficient and it'll just automatically tell you what the Z prime number is. So our correlation coefficient was 0 0.40. We click on this button and it tells us that the Z, the transformed correlation coefficient value, the Z prime is 0.424. So that's what we will plug into our um, uh, confidence interval formula. So we know that the conversion of R to Z prime is 0.424. And now we can just plug this into the formula for the confidence interval. Point four two four plus or minus the uh, standard error that we calculated 
times 1.96. Now we need to do a little calculation. Let's see. Equals 0.424 plus or minus 0.392 and then we can just add these together. So CI 95 equals um, Point eight one six at the high end and point zero um, looks like three two at the low end. Okay, now the last step is remember that these values here. are calculated with transformed correlation coefficients, we have to transform those back into regular R correlation coefficients um, to find out what the actual confidence interval is for uh, this correlation coefficient. So we can go back to that applet and plug in the values. Okay, so when I use that applet to convert these Z prime scores back into correlation coefficients, I get a value of 0.673 for this one. And this one actually stays the same. So now these are correlation coefficients converted back into correlation coefficients. So just a little reminder, these are now R's. And now I can wrap words around this and say I'm 95% confident that the population correlation coefficient, rho, is contained within this interval ranging from 0 0.032 to 0 0.673. So that is how you calculate a confidence interval for a correlation coefficient. See you next time.